Welcome friends. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about NRF. NRF, which is named as Network Repository Function. In some of the documents, you will find this as Network Function Repository Function. Right. So what is the role of NRF? As we have discussed in our 5G core network, we are going to have most of the network functions as VNFs. VNFs, which is referred as virtual network functions, and they're typically a group of group of network functions which are running on virtual machines now when we talk about these virtual machines they're typically referred as some instances and when we talk about these inst instances we may have multiple instances running for one particular network function now how other network functions are going to locate that particular network functions that is typically taken care by nrf nrf typically works like yellow pages which works like a central repository for all the network functions please note this repository is not for the subscribers but this repository is only for the network functions so that they can actually fetch the information about other network functions so typically there are two types of network functions one type of network functions which are typically referred as nf producers which typically takes care of providing some services. In this example, we have taken SMF as the service producer and another one is called a service consumer, which typically consumes some kind of services. So producers are the one who are providing the services. Consumers are the ones who are consuming the services. Any network functions can work like a network function producer and network function network service consumer. And most of these services are defined in document technical specification document 23.502. If you really want to know more about the services, what they produce, what they consume, you can look at the 3GBP technical specification documents, which is 23.502. Now, whenever a producer is coming in action, it typically need to have the registration with the NRF. Registration means here, it is typically going to publish the information of its subscriber profile and related instances to the NRF. Whenever there is a consumer who is looking for consuming some kind of services, it typically sends a service discovery message to the NRF and in return, NRF is going to provide those information about those network service producers, network service producer, and that is typically received by the consumer. Now, then as a next step, the consumer is going to reach out to producers directly with a service request message and producers are going to respond for that particular service. So typically, every time whenever a consumer wants to consume a service, it has to contact NRF to check what are the available instances for that network functions and then reach out to that network functions for the service access. So what is the typical role of NRF? It is service registration and discovery function and it maintains all the NF profile. When I say NF profile, I'm talking about NF producer profile and available NF instances for that particular producers. So in, in short, NRF works like a yellow pages where all the producers can actually publish their information and all the consumers can fetch that information so that they can talk to the producer network functions. That's all about this video. In the upcoming video, we are going to talk about some more network function. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.